I'm MC Swab. Next stop with fellow Oki, the dynamic Eric Logan. He's the president of the Oprah Winfrey Network and has recently overcome his lifelong fear of the ocean and discovered pure bliss, true passion, and life balance. In just three years after surrendering his fear of the water, he's become an international sup surfer. How does a kid from Oklahoma who's terrified of the ocean, scared of the water, wouldn't even go on boats, even in Oklahoma, now surfing in Fiji. The condensed version is on my 41st birthday. My wife had observed me doing uh, things that most 40-year-old men do, like research Ferraris, and, you know, whatever your prototypical midlife crisis thing you would be. Yes. She said, you know, how about this? And so I opened this box, and it was a wetsuit. And she gave it to me somewhat as a, as a joke. I put the suit on, and it was like I had to surrender this enormous fear thing because I had told myself this story for most of my life that the water's a bad place. Be careful of the stories you tell yourself. I'm fascinated with what fear does. It's very paralyzing. And again, I'm just a kid from Oklahoma. I'm 41, I can't learn to surf. How does one get over that? So for me, the wetsuit felt like a suit of armor. It, it was a very transformational experience for me because- First time? First time. And I'll never forget it. I walked in up to my knees and then I walked up into my waist and I, I was immediately struck that I wasn't afraid. It, it, it was very profound. It was a complete awakening. And before you know it, I'm surfing in Fiji. So it sounds like you putting on the wetsuit and open-mindedly going into the water mm -hmm. opened that up. I mean, yeah, that's the, I think that's taking the action. If you get an opportunity to try something, one thing, a thing new, don't meet it with judgment. Try to embrace the opportunity to be like, well, let me try it and see what it is. One of the great things I love about being in the water with the, the tribe that's out there is that you know we, we leave our egos at the beach. You leave everything on the shore because it's there when you get back. And it, the ocean is the great equalizer. I think it's made me a better executive at the organization. I think it's made me a better family man at home. I mean, we work for a woman here whose mission is for you to live your dream. And as often says, you don't dream big enough, dream a bigger dream. And since I've discovered paddling, my life has not felt fuller. My life's in balance now. It's fun and it lightens me up. And because of that, I feel like I'm a happier, healthier person.